Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to properly make use of displacement textures from Polygon materials in Cinema 4D with V-Ray. Before we get started, let's take a look at the material we'll be using. It's Ground Asphalt Broken 001 and is easily one of my favorite ground textures here at Polygon. Um, it's brilliant for demonstrating this displacement, which is why I picked it. <laughs> um, I've already got the 4K version saved to my hard drive and I'll include a link um, below the video. As a note, uh, I would recommend getting the, the 4K version if you're going to be following along because with displacement you really do want as much detail from the texture as possible. So let's take a look at what it is we're going to be doing. You've probably heard of a bump map before which is used to artificially give the impression of height in a material. Well a displacement map is different. It is used to literally deform the object based on the values of the texture with the black areas being the deep crevices and the white areas being the peaks. It results in a far more realistic material. Okay, so let's look at recreating this effect in V-Ray. Um, we have a basic scene here. It's just a plane and a dome light, um, and that's all we're going to need. I'll be using this perspective camera for rendering. So first thing I'm gonna do is bring in the material that we'll be using. Um, I've already covered how to use this material converter in a previous video, which I will link below. Uh, but for now, let's grab the material and convert. There we go. Okay, so with the material brought into C4D, you'll notice that there's two. <laughs> One's a standard material, and the other is a displacement material. Um, we need to bring the displacement uh, material in first, drop it on the plane there, followed by the normal one. I'm not quite sure why my previews aren't showing up there, but yeah. Just make sure the displacement one is first, followed by the normal one. And then what we're gonna do is tile it a little bit, just from a working on this already I know that we need a bit of tiling here so I'll tie that to free but you'll need to also do that on the displacement material there we go okay so now what I'll do is I'll bring the uh, camera in a little closer and we'll just do a quick render to see what it's looking like okay so by default the uh, the materials not looking particularly great um, <laughs> there's uh, very little if any displacement actually going on um, and the yeah, it, it looks like a, a rather flat, boring plane, which uh, isn't isn't really the effect we're after. So let's go into this displacement material and take a little look. If we go under the parameters section here, um, pretty much everything we're going to need is all is all uh, here waiting for us, to be honest. So um, first of all, you have displacement type, 2D and 3D mapping. Now, we're going to leave ours on 2D. You would use 3D mapping um, if you were using a, um, a 3D uh, displacement texture, um, which is, is slightly different than, than, than the, uh, the ones we offer. Um, so, leave that on 2D mapping, and it's really this amount value that's going to make the, the big difference. Um, if you look at the grid spacing here, um, each one of these little grid squares is uh, supposed to be 10 centimeters, and we can only go a maximum amount of displacement of 0.5 centimeters, which is about that much. Not particularly great. However, if we change this to something crazy like, I don't know, 30, that should uh, that should certainly fix the problem for us. Now under the um, uh, resolution, we're gonna up that to 4096. That's the resolution of our um, our displacement texture. Now let's do another render to uh, to see what impact those changes have had. And there we go. I've enlarged it a little, so it's uh, clearer on the screen there. But compared to the uh, the somewhat flat-looking render we had before, just increasing that height value is, yeah, it's a it's a it's a night and day sort of difference. And you'll need to do this for for any material that you want to use with displacement. Um, you'll always need to adjust the the settings to fit the material, because obviously on say a a floor tile or, or whatnot. This level of displacement would be insane. It would look it would look awful, same like a wooden floor. Um, but for a, a really broken up ground kind of material, you, you really have to push it to the extreme. So it, it is a matter of trial and error for the uh, for, for each material. But yeah, um, that's how you do displacement in V-Ray. So in summary, we've taken a material from Polygon.com, brought it into Cinema 4D using our material converter, played around with the displacement material. Um, increasing the height scale and uh, the resolution and v finally rendering it out with V-Ray.